Stevie's Happy Fury Friday! Oh my goodness, can you believe? It is the end of January. I believe, yeah, today's January 30th. It's like, uh, I'm like 45 degrees or so. It was supposed to be in the 40s anyway. I don't think it quite is. Because I didn't put my heated liners on my pants. I got my heated jacket liner on, so I should be good enough. But And I've got my heated gloves with me if I need them. But riding in January is pretty amazing. I rode my Road King yesterday. I'm riding the Fury today. Life cannot get any better. I mean, it could. It could be like warm out and stuff instead of like cold. It is cold on a motorcycle. I have to put up the graph. We'll call it 45 degrees just to be safe. I don't even think it's quite 40, but we'll call it 45 to be safe. 45 degrees at 70 miles an hour. I bet it's cold. I bet it's cold. So Fury Friday episode number 40. Can you believe we've done 40 of these things? I cannot. These are, these are fun videos though. So since this is kind of the update, the update uh, episodes, we are going to Florida for Daytona Bike Week. We are going to go stay with uh, our friends. Well, our friends and Amy's bosses, <laughs> the Badgers, Sonny and Angie. And we're, they're going to take us up into Daytona. They've been there before. It's always more fun to go somewhere with people that have been there before because they, you know, they kind of know what you want to see or what you need to see or what you don't need to see or what's worth the time and what isn't worth the time, you know. I'm telling you, this thing's like getting the hot rod out of the garage. So I'm, I'll get to that in a second. But yes, we will be there from. Uh, the 9th through the 13th, I think we got an Airbnb. Um, we, uh, I think Toby Northern's staying with us too. So that'll be fun. Toby and Kylie, that'll be a good time. So that'll be a good time. We're gonna go try to ride on the beach. That's like, that's so, that's so cool. I wanna ride on the beach so bad. And there has been thought about me taking this bike. Intercom failed. Try again later. I probably won't because I want the extra storage that uh, that my Road King has. And I don't think that Amy will carry my stuff for me. Even though I did for her for years. And her. I carried her and her stuff for years. But I don't think she'll Intercom carry my stuff. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. I don't think she'll do it though. I don't think she'll carry my stuff for me. As far as fun bikes to ride, this one is at the top of the list of the bikes that are sitting in our garage. As some of you know, last last spring I went to go do an iron butt on this bike. I didn't make it. Um, I had to leave later than I wanted to. Amy was out on the road still with the Badgers doing her job. And I had a lot of stuff going on. Um, and found out that my cousin had cancer, has cancer. He's, he's still alive, no worries. We love you, Randy. Um, and there was a lot of stuff going on and going out for the ride. Um, I, didn't, I didn't really want to record much, so I didn't really have a lot of motivation to hit that record button, you know what I mean? So I, I went on the ride and I got to stop and see some good friends. Um, Brian and Heather from Life on the Blacktop, artists formerly known as Blacktop Devil. And hanging out with them was fun, but then the ride home from their place to my, to our house, 
it was about a two and a half hour ride but it was on the interstate and I got to just jam on this thing and they like healed me you know if that makes sense it, it took me it took me out of the state that I was in and it put me back into the to the the riding lifestyle it it's uh it's like it's like this bike said okay buddy you and I are gonna go on this journey it was 700 miles we're gonna go on this journey and you're gonna leave everything behind you that's bugging you and I'm gonna make sure that you feel 100% better when we get back and that's exactly what it did it completely changed my mood for the better so this bike holds a certain certain place in my heart I don't think I could have could have felt that on my Road King because my Road King is like my laid-back buddy but this thing is like that little puppy that you can't control no matter what you do like it needs Ritalin <laughs> and, and it, was, it was exactly what I needed at that time I needed this bike I needed that ride and that's what I got it, it fixed it and it knew it knew it was sitting in the garage saying I'm the only one that can fix him and like they all believed it too they're like hey the Honda's right it's the only one that can fix him and there's gonna be jokes about that but I don't really care because that's the way it happened there's something about this bike when you squeeze the throttle like that the way that it takes off and it's like it's like I'm going with you or without you so you best hold on and that's what you have to do you got to hold on with your legs you got to hold on with your arms you got to hold on but there's still something about the way that this front end is that you don't need a windshield either because it blocks a lot of the wind that hits you but that was a story that I've been wanting to share with you guys for a while and I don't know why I just never really never really got around I didn't know how to tell it I guess it's just one of them things that had to be the right time I suppose but let me know if you have a bike like that or if you have a if you have a trip that did that for you it's, it was I dubbed it my fix-it trip my 700 mile fix-it trip and by the way 700 miles on this bike was pud could have definitely gone a lot farther if uh, if I would have had the time but I had to get home I'm gonna warm up here for just a second I think Yeah, see that on this new horn, that bell, it vibrates when you honk it. <laughs> That's fun. I got this on Amazon, it's a little throttle lock, it works great. That's your throttle boss thingy here, it works great too. Highly recommend them for you Fury people out there. Just to give your hand a rest if nothing else, you know. It was very helpful on my trip. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to dub that trip my 700 mile fix-it trip because it fixed me. I was kind of down in the dumps being a baby is what I was doing. Just needed to get over it, you know. Maybe that's what it was. This bike was just like slapping me in the face. Get over it, you little wussy. I should have dressed better. I would have liked to have ridden a lot longer than this. But I didn't. And I'm not. And that's just the way it is know better next time right so happy fury friday number 40 everybody can't wait for the next 40 <laughs> so everybody if you like this video hit the like button if you want to see more stuff like this subscribe 
hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool, and we will see you on the road.